August I have finished the renovation project here in Glenef. So I thought, well I promised, I'll do a video uh, at the end of the renovation to show you how it went. I've done a video already on snagging, which you'll be able to see somewhere here, there. And, um, yeah, so basically I'm just gonna give you, I'm gonna take you around this property. We're gonna have a walk around. I'm gonna show you all the bits that we've changed um, and just give you an idea of why we chose what we chose, where we got it from, and uh, just things to make sure that you know that the renovation's been done to a good standard and what to look out for, just in case you build is trying to cut corners. So that's the house. We're in Glenef, so you can see the road. It's a village. <laughs> We're in the village of Glenef, which is just a place that probably has maybe, what, 5,000 people or so. I'm going to take you around the house now. Follow me. First things first, we changed all the windows. We changed all the windows. On, and, um, you know, everything here was brand new, including from the front door. Even some of these, these bricks we ended up having just to make sure they're nice and clean. We've repainted the front of the house. There are those window sills. So they're lovely, bright white color before they're a bit of an off, offish, dirty white, just to say it's dirty white. In fact, it was like this. <laughs> so we got those nice and shiny white and we had to do quite a few coats on those to get it to a really lovely standard. Um, because we want it to be done. If the finish isn't good, people will come and not really like it and then say, you, think, you know, assume you've cut corners. Same for this here. Look, you see, you see the rain has got on it. But we chose a beautiful front door. Before it was a wooden panelled, wooden six panel door. And I loved it, to be honest. I loved it. Hold on. I'm doing this because this is, you know what? We went for a center light, a, light, a sensor light. So when I walk into this house, the light's supposed to come on automatically uh, and sense me. It's supposed to sense me. <laughs> That's what censoring me. I'm gonna have to contact the electrician about that because this should be working and it's not. So anyway, but this is rent, this is finished. Believe me, believe me when I say it's finished. Just small minor teething. So this is a brand new front door. We went for, with a nice front door because there was a six panel wooden door there before. I actually liked it, but the agent said, you know, you should change it. In London, that's a beautiful thing. If you can scrape that back, paint it and make it look absolutely beautiful, then that's a big seller. But for some reason, um, they said they don't and go for this. And I don't even feel like it's secure. I mean, anyone can just bang that in and just come right in. But that's just the standard nowadays for some. So that's beautiful and so as you come in you'll see that we've done all of the skirting boards. All the skirting boards have been done to a nice standard. We have went back to brick on part of the walls and some of the walls we ended up not going back to the brick on because it, didn't, it wasn't necessary. Um, but for, for the most part it has been replastered and, and skimmed throughout. So the walls are beautiful and straight, which I've got to give it to my builder. He's done a fantastic job because we had black mortar that kept seeping through. So once he plastered onto the wall, the black mortar would react to the new plaster and create different colors coming out of the wall, bleed some kind of greenish color, which was really annoying for him. Um, to be fair, I did say, you know, if it's not blown, don't remove it. A learning point is I probably would have removed it now because I saw how much hassle it put him through trying to um, connect the old to the new and then you know do all of that. I, I probably was a big headache at that stage but for me I was trying to keep the cost down and do it like that so that's something I did do but probably would learn from in, in the future just if it's if it's going it's some of the walls blown just to hack the whole thing off and start afresh. Um, got a nice new radiator in here and gone for the normal standard radiators. As you see throughout the house on the first floor we have decided to use the silver finish throughout the doors and the silver finish brush steel for the electric fittings so the sockets and the light switches only on the first floor we decided to do that because it's a cost saving mechanism and sometimes it's about the car sometimes it's about the car there's a cost saving mechanism and you know what it, it just looks so beautiful down here it's fitted very well it looks really nice and let's just put them in as well as that we decided not to do spots in here so we've gone for the normal light fitting one pendant fitting per room when we first got here this room here this little alcatraz in the middle piece here there was two glass doors so you'd pull them aside walk through and then close them behind you or just keep them open and then if they were open then they would sit on those walls 
and it looked really it could have looked nice if it was nice doors but the doors weren't nice so it, it didn't look good at all so we just removed those and decided just to keep it open and keep it nice and keep it plain so this is an absolutely lovely big room as you know you decide where the sockets go you decide where the TVs go so you can um, then accommodate the relevant and necessary sockets for them underneath the window we decided to put the radiator there and the reason being is, although it's actually quite warm in here at the moment, it's very well insulated and it's quite warm even without the heating on. And that's because we've, we've done a really nice amount of in underlay on the carpet so that will stop any cold from concrete coming through and seeping through into properties. That's one mistake builders do not builders that's one mistake I see people renovating do is that they don't put a nice thick underlay on the floor on the underneath carpets especially on the ground floor where the cold's coming in and even where I lived before when I moved in there it was a freezing cold floor especially in winter but because there was no underlay underneath so it all had to be picked up and, and put back down and it's necessary because that's the difference between living happily and living cold and if you're anything like me I do not like cold I absolutely don't like the cold so it's fundamental having the underlay underneath carpet is very important but the reason we put the radiator here is so again it can catch the draft that comes from windows so if you stand by your window you might notice in your own house sometimes you can have to be sitting by a window and it's absolutely a breeze you know it's actually cold there's a bit of a breeze coming through you know, when that experience is happening it's it's just better for there to be a radiator underneath that kind of con just converts that cold air into hot air and you find that the, the contrast of the cold air and hot air coming together just cools down that cold air. So it's not so drafty, basically. We've gone for nice blinds, We've gone for some lovely blinds in here, and it just gives the room a really nice finish. It gives them an absolutely lovely finish, having it presented in this kind of way. We've done absolutely light furnishings, absolutely light furnishings. We didn't want to go hard and heavy with um, beds and stuff because we're hoping to get a quick sale. I think everyone's always hoping to get a quick sale. But we are, we're hoping to get a quick sale and we feel that we're gonna get a good sale. So this is already a nice house, a really good standard for the area. There's a lot of um, owner occupiers here, a lot more than rentals. So a lot more people own in their property. So what we wanted to do is allow people for them to see it themselves and just do a nice neutral but modern finish so everyone can picture themselves living in the house. Again, this is just the room. Now this property, so this is the second dining room. This house uh, had a hatch. There was a glass window there. But if you see, if I manage to do the picture, <laughs> There was a window there and we were contemplating whether to keep the window and remove the window, keep the window and remove the window, because you do want to separate the area sometimes and have a nice amount of lighting coming through, which is why it's nice to keep that space there. Um, but at the same time, we thought with the flow of having this door here and you'll be able to actually get to that kitchen anyway, um, or do we really need it to have two spaces like that one so open? And, and then the other thing we were toying with is why don't we make it into a bar area? Put a bar there and then, you know, mum or dad could just be serving food right over the bar and they could just be sitting there. But that would need to have laminate. You couldn't have carpet in here. And we didn't want to separate it so the house only has one patch of carpet downstairs, which meant creating some form of finishing line here that goes across so we can have it goes across. There you go. It goes across from there to there and have some form of floor separator. But again, we didn't really want to do that. Hello, in 30 minutes. Um, okay, yeah, could we do 35 minutes? I'm literally in Glenith at the moment. Just I can wrap up and come to you. Yeah, half 10 is good. Let's do half 10. Hold on, what time is quarter to 10? Yeah, that should be enough time. All right, see you shortly. Great, that's the electrician coming over to put in a wireless boiler control. So, we decided to keep this door because I, I actually really liked this door. And I think again, it gives it character. A lot of the houses in here, it's not unusual for them to have those kind of doors in here. And a light for light replacement, you know, was it really necessary when we could just paint the door that we have here? And I liked it. So that's exactly what we did. Walking through this room. <laughs> Walk through with me. Walk through this room into this lovely big area again. And this is just another room that's off of the kitchen area. And it's really nice. I think it's absolutely beautiful, if you ask me. And here we've got the switches on the wall just for the kitchen. And this is the kitchen itself. So it's a somewhat a U-shaped kitchen. More of an L with a tip. <laughs> 
really U-shaped kitchen, and we've just gone for laminate flooring, the one that's durable and are able for wet floors. We've gone for spots in the plinth, which really gives it a nice feel. I can't explain, it reminds me a little bit of a disco feel, but again, this is modern, it's nice, it draws you into the kitchen at night time, everything else is off and you've just got these on. It really is a nice romantic feel. And we've got the same here for these lights up here. You know, you just wanna have a nice atmosphere downstairs, or even when you're having guests or romantic evening in. This is the one, let me tell you right now. This is the one. So it's, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, so for the worktops, we've gone for these marble effect worktops from Selco, Howden's Selco. Thousands. <laughs> one of the two. And we've just gone for some nice self-closing drawers, which are absolutely lovely. Just they close on their own. Really nice. So again, as you go round, we've got the lovely finish of the worktops. This this oven for me is just so cool. I really love the way how and again when you're wrapping up a project, you this is everything. You come here, you check. Okay. When you're finishing a renovation, see, I know this isn't a video about finishing a renovation and I might do one because I love giving tips and hints, but when you are, you come into this house like you live here and you, you click everything. Okay, so here, is that, I really like it. I really like it. And then you just tap, 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 up. And uh, so if I want this on hot now. Oh, sorry, that's on. Oh, I turn it up right here. Oh, gosh. Do you know what? Do I like this? Do I like this? I've got to be honest with myself. Oh, that's nice and warm. I've got to be honest with myself. I like modern. But sometimes the market just can be a little bit too modern for me. So this is the beautiful kitchen. We've, again, we've got some really light dresses, and really light dresses to finish the renovation with, um, just to dress it up so when people are walking through, they can see themselves in here. This is the back garden. Whilst I'm here, I'll just show you the back garden. It's nice. We had that jet washed out there. We had it jet washed with chlorine. So moving on through, we're going to go into the bathroom and this is a nice little separate area because we've got a door here this is before you get to the bathroom there's a door and i love that because if people are in here cooking you don't always want the bathroom right off the door so there's two doors that separate this area and i, and I really like that um so this is like a, a mini utility area and we've got plumbing for a washing machine and a dryer back there and this is the bathroom and again, we've gone for a very similar floor as in the hallway to really draw the front of the house in with the back of the house and give it a lovely, lovely feel. Um, so, and I really like this bathroom. I think it's quite nice, it's, it's, it's beautiful. I love the colors that we've gone for and the brickwork over the bath is quite nice and it's merged in with the one just here over by the toilet area. Now the reason we had to do that design was because of the way how the pipe worked before we started the renovation was and we didn't really realize that until we got towards putting in the plumbing works that the pipes were actually out of the floor. Um, which can be overlooked sometimes, so we had to accommodate that by boxing them in. But th it, it turned out really nice, and you could put a really lovely mirror there on that wall to really bring out that this area here and bring it in well. Oh, can I just say something? The lighting on this, yes, oh, my job ahead, guys. It's beautiful. I've done this myself about three days ago. And I like to do hair. If you guys are in Swansea and you want your hair done, give me a call. I'm <laughs> joking. I used to do hair. Listen, I started my business at 13 years old. It wasn't a business, actually. I started working in a salon at 13 years old, um, shortly after turning 13. And I was so good with hair. How can I not? And then I, then I started my own business at 14, where I'd go to people's houses and do hair there. And that was quite cool. So let me speed this up, because I've still got things to do. So, I should say that because this is, this is what I'd have to do. This is delivered videos for you. This is it right here. So this is the beautiful bathroom and I, and I absolutely love this bathroom. It's, it's turned out really well. I'm, I'm really happy with the way it's gone. So I'm gonna lead you upstairs. This is the stairs that are gonna take us up and we're gonna go upstairs and look at the three bedrooms. And let me talk to you about how those went. Upstairs and then we've gone for a normal like pendant. Okay, things to really, really add loads of value. Again, this is you can do spot. It really does help, but if you don't really want to have to take down ceilings and stuff, which we ended up taking this down anyway, because as soon as we took one area down, some of it started falling down. Which was a bit, 
annoying. So um, we had to take that down. But we've installed a new window. In fact, new windows throughout, so I don't need to show you that. New windows throughout. We have put in a new door here. In fact, there's new doors everywhere. <laughs> what am I doing this? There's new doors everywhere. The only thing we didn't do here upstairs is the banister. So we've done new carpets up here. The cupboard, this cupboard was falling down, so the side was coming out this way. The door was pretty much, the door was actually intact, but it was very ugly and very outdated. We've just gone for the lovely carpets where you've got a nice grey finish, white modern walls, matching blinds, and you just really can't go wrong with that type of finish. We've got these smoke alarms in the hallway, standard. This is um, the master bedroom beautiful we've got the radiator there on the chimney breast we decided to do it in the middle of the chimney breast which is fine I think now moving forward what I'm going to do with my radiators is put them here by the the front door by the door so you have all corners to play with ideally you've got a corner there corner there and a corner here uh, over there to play with rather than have this because previously this was somewhere else i <laughs> couldn't tell you where and it's either down there or something you just think that's a it's down there and that's a perfect place for chest of drawers walking into this room and we've done new skirtings throughout the finished carpet again wooden um skirtings and the the walls have been replastered new uh blinds of course and, and it's really really nice the only difference is is the, oh sorry the radiators here um, and again, having a learning curve, I would put it by the front door. You could just see white, white, white everywhere, isn't it? I'd put it here by the door, so um, not really close up to the door, but just, just here somewhere, so that space can be used. From the back window, this is what it looks like outside. I really hope that you enjoyed the tour. I really hope that you managed to get a lot of value from this video. It really is just a general walk around to show you that we've done everything from new but now we've got a beautiful home with an absolutely beautiful finish. I hope you've managed to have a, you know, get a few hints and tips on what to include in your projects. And um, if you're not too sure about what finish to do, don't be afraid to use colors. Don't be afraid to be too daring. Don't be bold with a big bright red because that's very personal. And again, what does red mean in different colors and different cultures? So, you know, you wanna use colors that are quite neutral, that are very universal wherever you go. So if you have someone from China or someone from Nigeria coming in to view the house, Colours will not impact them uh, to, a, to, a, to a greater deal where they choose not to buy the house. And red's, red's one of those colours. <laughs> so I so happen to be doing a video in red. But yes, red is one of those colours. So just be mindful about that type of stuff. Also, it's really good to go around, invite the agents around, get them to come to the property, have a look and see what their thoughts are because not all areas demand high-end finishes. Some areas can be happy with a, a lower finish and it still is fantastic for the area so bring your agent in allow them to tell you this is what will sell this is what will fly off the shelf and you then create a product that accommodate that if you're still undecided bring your ideas to them that agents are extreme when i say agents estate agents the people who will sell the house estate agents are very helpful if you're renovating to let the house at the end and again you can get the agents around and they will give you a good idea about what tenants are looking for because tenants whilst they love this and we will all want something as beautiful as this to living as a tenant it's not a hundred percent necessary for the investment fester sorry for the investor or it's not um viable for the investor on for the investor for that project you want to make the project viable by doing a finish that's in line with what the market asks is and that's in line with your figures to get you the yield that you're looking for and if it's for a buy to sell then your return on investment so all capital employed so um, I hope this video has been really useful. I've gone through everything. If you like this video, please like, comment down below if I've missed out on stuff because I know that when I'm talking sometimes I can chat and change the topic without even realizing. So if you, there was something I've missed, just type your question down below and I'll be more than happy to answer that. I'm gonna be releasing videos at least once a week. So if you wanna stay tuned in, you wanna be notified, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to touch the, um, hit the notification bell as well and i hope that this video has been really informative i have um other videos on checklists um, there's a video on checklists and what to look for when doing a property viewing 
um, in terms of what to, you know what to look for you know the standard of the house can be absolutely beautiful it can be terrible you need to know how you can capitalize on that particular property so there's a video on that and there's also a video on this uh, where I've done a snag on this house before we've come up to the end and I've picked out some things um, well, it's almost like a snag before the snag <laughs> I picked up on some things, so I just wanted to touch base with the builder to make sure he's aware that these things are still here. Um, because when you're here every day, you can overlook stuff. And they are humans after all. So that's what I've done. And I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I would love to stay in communication with you guys. Any questions, fire away. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.